Good morning, everyone. I'm sitting here on the balcony of my hotel waiting for Pastor Solomon to come and pick me up. I just decided that I would come online just for a few moments. As I sat here meditating on the Great Commission to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, Scripture says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Well, we understand that it's not God's will that anyone perish, but that all come to repentance and faith in, in the Lord Jesus Christ. But how shall they come to repentance if there's no one who preaches the gospel to them? Faith does come by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. Um, how shall they believe in him of whom they've not heard? How should they call on him in whom they've not believed? How should they believe in him of whom they've not heard? And how should they hear without someone proclaiming the gospel to them? Saints of God, people of God uh, who listen to me this morning, it's important that we proclaim the gospel message and not just um, to those in our surroundings where we are, but we have the commission to go into all of the world and preach the gospel. I keep meditating about that, and I'm just sitting here this morning meditating on our theme for this year, which is completing the task. Because Jesus has said the end will not come until the gospel of this kingdom has been preached in every nation for witness to all peoples. Every people group in the world must have the opportunity to hear the gospel message. And it is the responsibility of those of us who've been born again to carry this message out. Um, we can't worry about what may happen to us or how we're going to do this. Because when Jesus spoke to his first disciples um, before he ascended into heaven and said, Go, uh, you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the othermost parts of the world, they didn't have the vehicles that we have or the avenues that we have to proclaim the gospel. Uh, they may not have understood what the Lord was, how they were going to accomplish what the Lord had commanded them to accomplish, but they took the responsibility. And saints of God, today we have to take the responsibility uh, and go into all of the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Make it happen. Make it happen. Give support work with people uh, who have the, the, the motivation to go and the means to go. Uh, this work is not something that one or two people does do. It's work that all of us must engage in. Um, so this morning, I just want to encourage us. Uh, I was sitting here thinking, reflecting, uh, and thinking about the day. I don't know what today will bring, but I prepared myself mentally and spiritually um, so that I can be available to the Lord, uh, to be used by the Lord, to accomplish his ends uh, in this particular assignment that he has given to me. Um, so I'm excited about today. Uh, I see those of you who are watching, a pastor from, from Ghana, Pastor Edricks, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Joseph Nimley, God bless you in the United States. God bless you. Thank you for, for watching. I know it's early uh, because it's 9.36 a.m. here. So it is uh, 4.36 a.m. on the East Coast in the United States. I'm just happy, just thankful to the Lord to be able to be used by, the God, by God uh, in this day to proclaim the gospel message. Pray for us. This is a great work. The work of the kingdom is a great work. And I am blessed to be a part of what God is doing uh, in the world today in my generation. God bless you. Have a blessed day.